Yo, what's going on and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and today we are going to be talking about the concept of hand-me-downs in a game like this. Now last time we talked about which artifacts to roll, how to roll them, how to know when to not keep going with an artifact, and what to do with an artifact once you don't need it anymore, which in that video the thing that I talked about was you can put it into a different artifact to get XP. So we're looking at my Venti here, who we worked on last time, and we built him this nice new feather. Now, what are we going to do with the old feather? We can put it into a new item to get that item a quick burst of XP. Why don't we look at um, how much XP it would give to just put in the old or the new item that we just leveled. Where are you at? There. Is it better? Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. We're not actually going to do that. But you can see right here, if we just use a fully max artifact, then it will get it automatically to plus 18. So that's pretty much most of the way there, right? Like we won't need a whole lot of upgrade materials anymore if we just use one that we already upgraded. Obviously, we're not going to do that because we're talking about something different today. We're talking about hand-me-downs. Now, once I equip this feather, I can't yet because I still haven't gotten to level up this cup. I need to level both before I can actually switch my set. But once I've done that, then I will have nothing to do with this feather and I'll have nothing to do with this string kettle over here, both of which are pretty good for support DPS characters because it's going to give them uh, an elemental mastery as well as they're both offensively built pieces of gear. So they're going to give attack, have some decent substats, and I currently am using them on my venti, but once I don't need them, what am I going to do with them? Throwing them into something else for XP is an option, but a lot of people are finding a problem that they don't have enough, the ability to build enough characters, right? So by using hand-me-downs, we can take something like this feather here and put it on a character that we're not currently using. So if we, you could, if we look at Zhang Ling, uh, she has mostly plus zero gear. She has one plus 16 fire cup that came from uh, my Kli, which is also an example of hand-me-downs. But imagine that we just took this feather that I'm probably never going to use. I don't think I'll roll it and just gave her this plus 20 feather instead. All of a sudden, she has way more attack to actually use. And then I can use her on my Spiral Abyss teams or make like secondary teams that actually use her if I need more fire or want more fire or just feel like using a different character all of a sudden I have more characters that actually have gear now if I give her um, both a feather and the string kettle which which one does that go under I think it's it's this one right here so if we gave her both of these this one's not maxed, but it's still better than whatever she currently has, which is somewhere down here in the purple gears and a plus zero. So once we give that to her, we could see her attack numbers go from like the 800 that it's currently at to something more like 1,200, 1,300, and she'd be much more effective in specifically the Spiral Abyss and just like actually testing her out and making use of her kit we could get a better idea of how much damage she can really do. So I would recommend using the concept of hand-me-downs whenever you have a fairly decent piece of gear. Like I would say this feather is decent. It's not gonna be an end game piece of gear, but as I finish Venti, then he's no longer gonna need it. It can go on to Zhang Ling. And then Zhang Ling, if I choose to build her next, I will eventually replace it with something else that's more specific to her class like Fire Witch or maybe I'll just get a better Wanderer's Troop because Wanderer's Troop is a pretty good set for support DPS with all the elemental mastery it gives. And then this can go on to another character further down the line like Fischl here who you can see has only one upgraded piece of gear which is a cup that came from someone else and her feather is really bad. So just imagine if we gave her this feather instead, all of a sudden we've probably like doubled her attack and then she can be used for other pieces of content as well, not just exclusively in apply electric bot, but she might actually do some meaningful damage. So this is what I wanted to talk about today. 
don't just get rid of all of your artifacts or use them for XP unless you really have no use for them or you think they're bad because some of these artifacts could help you test out newer characters that you haven't gotten to play before. Some, like my Fischl, might be leveled a little bit, like she's currently level 60, but you could even throw it on like a low level character just to get an idea of what they actually do, like my level 20 Jing Chu here. You could throw on Wanderer's Troop on him, fully upgraded, and he would do a good amount of damage. Granted, he's going to get more from you leveling him up, but it'll give you an idea if you actually want to invest in the character. But either way, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you found this useful, and hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you next time.